Hi everyone. Uh, right, I did say I was going to come back and do the ballerina when I had time to do it. And I'm going to do that today. My problem is that it has been a while since this was delivered to me. And unfortunately, I forgot the lady's name that sent it to me. So, I know you will be watching. Just put a comment on the video um, that who you are and who you, and who sent it and then I can go in and alter all the information in the description box and that um, what happened was she bought so many and she wanted to send me one to see what I can do with it and as you can see it's a ballerina um, not sure what it's made from it's all in black um, and I'm going to put my touch to it to show her what she can do so what I've done is I've taken some of, I'll show you the trimming, it's from Tressor Deluxe. Or Tressor Deluxe, I'm not sure how they say it. And it is um, this trim. And these are great because you can cut them out as appliques. So what I've done is I've cut that section out and then taken that section off. Because this section is going to go on top of that upside down. So... Um, I will show you what I mean by that. Now, first of all, what we're going to do with it, this has to be painted. Um, I'm going to paint it white first, and then I'm going to do um, a coat of a skin tone. Um, and this, I will show you, will go on here, because it fits perfectly there, like that. And then that will go on top of that uh, but I'm going to put some tulle on here as well now it's going to be tricky because although she's got a short skirt at two to one I want this extended a little bit to here um, so I'm going to use some very soft tulle that I've got so I'm just going to get everything together and then I'll be back uh, to share that with you Right, I'm back now. Now I've got the white acrylic paint and I'm going to do the whole thing in white. Then I've got this which is a folk art and it's skin tone. The number on this one is 949. Uh, so I've got that and then I've got this lace that I want to go. I've got the tool, the cream tool, really soft. Um, and that tool has, uh, that's going to go on top of the tool. But you'll see what I mean um, as it's done. So first of all, all I need to do is to make sure I've got the white to cover that um, first because that's what I'm going to do. So I'm just going to start with the face and I've said for a while that I will get this done and just I, don't, I didn't have the time to spend on it properly. I was so busy sorting things out in other areas but now that's done um, and I can spend the time doing this now I'm not doing it perfect or anything like that we don't look for perfection remember and it will probably need a couple of coats
with that and just paint up to there um, and that gives me something to work to hold on to well, I do what I can with it now I'm just going to dry that off uh, because it may need another coat right now um, what I've done is I've just done the um, top half in the skin tone colour only to save time because I do want to get on with this um, and that's turned out fine and all it is like I said is a skin tone and I'm just going to do the underneath uh, where the legs are of course I'm just going to get some paint here. Now, I know the lady bought several of these. Asked me if I could do anything with one. She looks beautiful. What a difference already. Look, what a difference between that and the black. Yeah. Right, so I've got the skin tone on. Um, I don't think I will be putting any more than that on. I'm just going to put a light cream on the dress. On the tutu. So, let's just wash my brush. I'm going to need that again reach for the cream and I'm going to use the linen it's called linen I think it is yeah not much of it left but there'll probably be enough just to do the top it's the top section I want to do now well, let's have a look yeah there should be enough for that doesn't have to be perfect because I am covering it like I said I'm just gonna go see what my dog is actually chewing and I can hear you chewing boy what are you ripping apart come on out there one of you and it's Joey now Joey I heard what you're oh you're eating the bubble wrap get in that kitchen why are you eating the bubble wrap? You like the hair it popped? Naughty boy. Naughty. Oh dear. Chewy! I hope you've not been chewing it, boy. I heard you popping it. Naughty. Oh dear. He hasn't chewed it. He's actually just sat popping the bubble wrap. Got a big roll of bubble wrap in the kitchen, uh, in the passage, and he sat popping it. <laughs> They're not daft, my dogs, you know. Oh dear, what on earth will they do next? There, that's covering that nicely. Swing around a little bit. Oops, got a bit on the arm, so I'll have to sort that out. Never mind. Don't worry if you get anything on somewhere else. Just go over it.
going to do the pants as well or the tutu body spit at the bottom And we'll just do that section as well. Now, all I'm going to do is find a small brush to do all the touching up. So this is just basically to go over what I've made a mistake with. There we go. Right, now we've got to get a hair colour. But I was thinking, as I do, I might put some real hair when I say real, real hair, doll's hair, on this. So I'm just going to dry all of this off. I do have some hair. Um, I'm not sure... Uh, what colour but I do have some of this I've got pink white black and this beautiful golden colour look at that and this is um, oh now it's all yeah it's off um, llamas and you get it on eBay so just put in llama hair and um, it should come up. So this is the tricky bit. Because <laughs> you do have to glue it on. Now, I'm going to use the glossy accents, what do you think? Although I don't know whether I'm going to be able to get the needle down there. Let me just see. Yeah, it's, oh, it's all clogged up. I'll be back. Right, I've unblocked my glue. And it is hard to do. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to start here. Uh, and I'm just going to pop some glue right there. And just following the hairline. And I don't want to put too much on. And then what you do is you snip the hair, which is here, and you just snip the row you want. And just take off the bits you want. I don't want much. Let's turn around. Sorry, I'm going to do it that way. And I'm glue it on there like that where's my little brush let's hold that on and then just wipe that in like that 
take some more again so you need three pair of hands <laughs> and glue that on like so because when I fold it back um, you don't want to be seeing the hairline so I'm just going to add a little bit more on here I might need to pop a bit of glue on my brush hold that in and like I say you can buy this hair it's on um, eBay We just get a little bit more off there. We're just going to pop that on there like that. Bit more glue on the brush. We hold her in there like that. I'm not going past the hairline. We have to wait for that to set. Just put a little bit more, I think. On this section here. Just blend all that in like that. Want to put a little bit more see it's already got a kinky curl in it. It's it's beautiful really um and fascinating to play with. We're just going to lay her down. Okay. And we do need a little bit more at the back as well. So I'm going to pop some here. Just do a little bit at a time. We don't need to overdo it got a little bit more cut off I'm going to pop that in there Just going to do this section as well. Okay, we'll cut a little bit more. And you just, you know, work it in. Don't worry about any of the ends, you can trim all of that later. Oh, you silly old woman. You've gone wrong way, you nana. <laughs> See, you didn't tell me, did you? There, I'll put it back. It's all right, fixed. Done, quick as that. So when I pull the hair back, you won't see it where I've joined it. Well, that's hoping you won't. Nearly did it again then. Let me just put a bit more glue in here. 
I'm not worried about any strands, they'll all pull out. There we go, there's a little bit more. Like that, and I can put some around here as well. Let me cut a little bit more. Like that, and just, just glue it on. Do us some more at the top. Okay, okay, let's cut this. It's just to make it uh, a little bit fuller, that's all. There we go, just to fill that and then I'm going to do some here because I've missed a bit there. I mean, she's already got a bun, so you know, I might want to recreate that. Now let me just cut this here. I'm just going to take a section of this. Sorry, I keep going to do it the wrong way. I'm just going to pop some more glue on here. Oops, get that before it falls. This is an awkward position, but we're going to do it. Wrap that around. A little bit more on this side. Keep wrapping that round, doesn't matter if there's all the excess bits you can take off. I just want to make sure that I've got enough in the right place, which I need just here as well. Um, take that bit off, I'm going to add that bit on. Like that. <coughs> um, and I think we'll just let that dry. I can pull any excess off that's not stuck down. But that's given us some hair, and I, I just, I just think that's going to look fantastic. And now what I've got to do is just to let that dry. So I'll be back. Look, isn't that good? Right, I'm not sure if you can see this, but what I'm going to do now is to lift a hair from her face <laughs> and pull it all back. 
just lift it all up oh, <laughs> oh wow <laughs> oh sure if you can see that look can you see see how it just pulled back oh she looks divine Now, I'm just going to get some cream ribbon. And I've got one about two, three millimetres wide. Well, I did have somewhere. Let me see. Yep, got it. Because I think what I'm going to need to do now is to pin a hair back. But I want to make sure I don't pull the curls out and I think we should have it rough and ready rough and ready wow <laughs> so I'm just gonna pop the ribbon underneath all the hair and I'm just gonna pin it back for her Fine, they got you. Got you, got you, got you. There we go. Hmm. <laughs> she looks divine. Just for now, I'm just going to trim that off there. In fact, that's what I need to do. I need a little bit of that glue just on the back. Hope you can see this. Just on the back of the bun. Like that. And the hair to go over it. And I'm just flattening it down a little bit onto that. I do want her to have a bushy hair at the back. I'm going to put some flowers in and that. I'm going to leave the bow at the moment like that because I don't want to um, harm that. But look, I've got to just finish painting in here her skin. So I might as well do that while I'm at it. So that it's all matching. I'm not sure if you can see that bit there. See what it needs doing. So I'll just put the paint in there and finish that off. Like that. Right, like I said, I'm going to put some flowers on. It looks like it's been brought... I'm not sure if you can see it. Look. The way I've done it. Let me just hold it for you. It looks like the hair has been swept over from there. Don't worry about this. I'm going to put some flowers in. Doesn't that look fantastic? The only bit I am bothered about is the back of the hair. Just in that section there. And I'm just going to paint that so you're not going to see it. Yeah. Quite thrilled with that, actually. I think that's turned out fab. And it's they, these um, pelts cost... Um, I think I paid about five, either five or eight dollars. Not much, but they're worth it and they last a while because you get several lots out if you make, if you do dolls and that. Now what I'm going to do is just put a tiny, tiny bit of glue in that section there. Just in there to grab that hair down. I just think she looks adorable. Fantastic, love it. Can you see that? So, let's move on to the next stage. I'm just going to clean my bottle. Now, what we're going to do next is to glue this on. Because this is part of her dress. No, in fact, I'm going to do that last. What I'm going to do is put the tool on. Let me just put that to one side. Now, I've got this cream tool, as I said... 
um, I'm going to make a, a longer tutu with it a longer one so I need to just cut a strip and then stitch that now how long do I want it oh about yeah about three inches right <laughs> Let me just see. I'm going to cut it a little bit longer, I think, and then I can cut it down. There we go. Just shift that to one side. Um, needle and thread, I'm afraid. I know. I don't like it myself. <laughs> but uh, here we go. What I'm going to do with mine, I'm doing it in black thread so you can see it. I will be covering it so it won't be shown. Okay. So I've now cut about five inches of tulle and the thing is with this um, there is a, a hand is stuck here and here so that will be a tricky thing to put together you know all you do is cut it really it's not tricky at all it may seem daunting because you think oh god how am I going to do that but it's quite easy to do so um, just take hold of one end of the tulle mine is a full 60 inches wide I think yes it is and stitch and I'll be back <sighs> sorry about that I'm miles away uh, right I'm just I've done the skirt um, and I know I've got to um, cut where the hands are but right now I might have to do it in two pieces <laughs> the skirt's massive it will lay flat later like that you see so I might need to cut another so I'm just tying this at the back and do a piece at the back See, like that. Let me just, I'm tying it at the back and then I might do another section at the back as well. So we've got the doll's dress like that. Now I have to get that to lay. So what I'm going to do is cut this up this section as far as I can and then thread that section through the arm like that see so that's brought that i'm not going to have it that long i'm just gonna i might need to tie that a little bit tighter around the waist that's all it needs pulling in i think pulling in a little bit more and that's going to hang down so I do need to put another section here, I think. Yeah, what I'm going to do is pull some more of this through. So I'm going to cut that as far as I can. Take that section through the arm, which will bring that round. Oh, that's better. And that will lay. I won't need to put any more on. This will do. Yeah. I needed to get that a little bit tighter that's all so what I'm going to do is to glue that section in tight see here so I'm just going to pop a little bit of glue down the bottom section there and pin that in like that and hold that down hopefully that's work just press that into place like that do the same with this section as well see there and pin that down into place 
and then at the back we can just cross this section over at the back there so I'm just fitting that into place here and like I said I'm not bothered about the length about it at the moment now what I've got is some of this really pretty lace and I was going to put this over the skirt uh, I'm not sure at the moment whether I want to do that no because I want it to look like it is a ballet dress so right now I'm just going to trim off this bit of black thread take that off I don't need that whoa let's get our hair back into place there I do love that hair I think it looks stunning right and then what I'm going to do is to just glue across the skirt like that and hold it down Just to hold that down in place, like that, and just put a little bit of glue across there, like that. Pull it down into place, and that gives that shape that I'm after. So I'm just going to pop a little bit of glue here, and then place that down. So it's it's still concertinaed, it's not all flat to the skirt below, to the tutu. Bring that up. Like that. Again, make sure that does cross over. We do want that on there. Here's the last piece. Remove the ribbon. I don't want that sticking to it. Oh, don't let the hair stick either. Right, and now what I need to do is to... Oh, I'm going to put a little bit of trim around there, but I do need to cut the dress. Now I'm going to cut it so it's about two inches. Yeah, see that looks really pretty, the way that's just hanging down like that. Yeah, I'm quite pleased with that. Let's trim that off there. Like I say, the ribbon to the hair, I'm just going to leave a minute. I hope... <laughs> <laughs> the lady that sent it to me I hope you're liking it so far so I'm just going to do a little bit of trim around there now I've got to go and get my small trims what I'm, I hope you can still see this so what I'm doing is I'm just starting the trim here and it's mainly to cover up the edge um, and I'm going to glue the lace and not the trim, you know, the tutu sort of thing. Thank you. 
So we've got that. That gives it a little bit of shape, doesn't it? Hope you can see that. Um, I just want to make sure that... Yeah, that's going to be fine. Now, with the hair, I'm just going to hold the ribbon down with a little bit of glue just there. And again with this side as well. And then I can snip this there and there. Yeah. Um just put that away. Uh, I'm going to put some, let me just see, let me just see, I've got some glitter, uh, let me just see which one I'm going to use, that's not it, I have some somewhere. Here we are. So it's just touches of glitter. And I'm just going to take the little brush. I put some glitter on there. Now, because I don't want to put any beading on this, so I'm just going to glitter. this section up like that because you don't have to put beading on glitter can be you know do the same job and be even nicer so this is stickles this is the homemade stickles. I, I, it's in a stickles jar bottle because I make my own and keep the, the bottles. They've got a nice fine nib. And I've got a tutorial out on how to do that. To make your own stickles. Just pinning the hair out of the way so I can get the other section. Whoops. Now with the hair, I'm just going to fluff it up a little bit and just in the front I'm going to add a little bit of glitter. She's quite angel like looking. I'm just popping a little bit on the tip of a thin brush and then just sweeping that into the hair, just brushing it in here and there. And like I said, I am sending this back once the lady lets me know who she is again. Sorry, and I do profusely apologise, but... I can't remember everything. Let me put a little bit on there. That's just to give her a little bit of glam on her hair. Like I said, I am going to be doing um, some flowers in there as well and they will have to be tiny. Um, I've still got the skirt bit to do, so I'm going to do that next. Uh, sorry, the bodice. And um, let me just get this in line. So that will pull the waist in. 
just move that up there like that and then what I'm going to do is put some glue bits on there and use my fingers just to move it round like that just push that under the boss, uh, body section there sorry let's pull that around does that move underneath? I'm not sure if it did right if that takes that off I'll have to redo that I'm just going to push that underneath pop a little bit of glue just in there yeah I'm gonna have to touch that up so here's a just touch that up when I took that off Right, I'll do that again in a minute. Give that time to dry. So as you can see, I've got that section of the bodice on. Um, but I want to use the ribbon. Let me just get this off. To pull the waist in. And the way to do that is I'm going to thread that through. I have to do this a couple of times. Thread it back through. That's that one. Thread this one through here and then thread that back through again <laughs> okay, okay spin that around and you pull them to like so I've got glue on me <laughs> right and then I'm just going to tie this really tight whoops sorry let's tie this really I, mean, I haven't done the feet yet because I'm not uh, the slippers because I'm not sure what I'm going to do with them first so bring that down and around there like that do a little bow and then we're going to snip that don't waste your excess just going to put a touch of glue at the back let me just spin that round that's better Um. another touch of glue on top of that and then pull that one in as well so I want that ribbon to be at the back like that okay yeah she looks pretty uh, now what to do at the front well Let's get some flowers to start with. Right, 
Now, I've got one of these, which is the... Oh, some at breath, isn't it? Baby, what's it? Baby breath? I've forgotten what it's called. Sorry. Of which I'm just going to pop in the back to hide that bit of stitching. That looks really pretty, like that. Um, baby's breath, I think. I don't know what it's called. What's it called? I'm going to use three of these. I think. And then snip that off. And just bend that. I'm not sure if I want to do that. Do I need that? No, I don't like it. Forget that. <laughs> Sorry! just put these on I don't want I don't want to take away from the look I've just created and I yeah, we'll see I might do these actually I've got some uh, pot rose in fact this is going to be better i've got some pot roses so i'm going to use these i think it was a rose garland he made from like pot clay i'll break a few of these off shush lucky or joey whichever one you are see they're just little pot roses and i think these will look better I just, I don't want too many, that's all. I'm getting glitter everywhere. to destroy one of these. Oh, I'll do one that I've already cut off. I'm going to have to because I want that leaf. See the leaves? I'm not sure if you can see what I've done. I don't know, like it's trailed down. that 
I got, where did I get this? Car boot. <laughs> it was just a, I'm, Ray came in with it and I thought, oh, that's perfect for what I want. Right, I'm just going to have to do that again with one of the other flowers. So I want that look. Like that there on the shoulder. I don't want to, you know, I don't want it to look like it's um, overdone. So what I've got here is some, it's like a organza, but it's got the, um, see the organza, it's got these. Oh, stamen. I want it to poke in there. Just for a bit of decoration. Let the other one go there. Right, I hope we're still taping. As it keeps going off. Like that. Oh, that looks really, really pretty. There's just a touch up there I'm going to have to do. Now, regarding her hair, I want it to be kind of shabby looking. So I'm going to put some roses in the top, just so it hides all of that. And around where the bun was. Oh, that's got a mark on it somehow, has it? I'll take that one out quick. Put another one in there. And I think one more of this flower can just sit at the back. just to hide the bun section. So we've got that, that. <laughs> she looks like she's a ballerina getting married. Right, that's that lot done. Now, all I've got to do is the shoes. Here's the tricky bit. I need two pieces of this Right, okay. Don't ask how I'm going to do this, I haven't got a blooming clue. All I'm going to do is try. Um, no, that was wrong, wasn't it, you silly old? What the hell am I doing, woman? <laughs> <laughs> 
<laughs> I don't know. Oh, that way, silly old. Come out. Oh, God, nearly cut the blooming thing then. I've got that the wrong way around, you nana. Right, I'm not worried about it taking that off because you're not going to see that eventually. Let's just start that again, lady. So don't worry if you make a mistake if you're going to do this. That one has to cross over, you wazzock. <laughs> so you see, we've covered that, doesn't matter. That one also has to cross over. That way, so that will hide that one. Yeah? Then we wrap that piece around that one. And this piece goes back under and back through. Now what I am going to do is I'm going to glue it to keep it in place. Tiny bit of glue there and a tiny bit of glue there um, and then we wrap that around again around the back of the ankle and we cross it over back through again Back through that, hopefully we can pull this into place. And I'm going to tie it at the front. I'm going to put a double glue just there and tie it again. <laughs> That will hold that in place. And then I'm going to right. Everybody, that's something like it, isn't it? It's not right, it's not quite, you know, but it'll do. I'm gonna pin that down. I'm just going to pin that onto there. Pin that one onto there. back through so I can pull it tight um, there remember to glue the section in the middle sorry if you can't see this um, pull that back through just to tie it while that glue is wet push that back through and pull that tight while that glue is wet um, and then what I'm going to do pop a little bit of glue just on the ankle there pop that down again I don't think I'll glue that bit down and just leave that like that I don't want loads of string on them, it's just like she's 
um, got a shoes on. And I'm not worried about the shoe at the moment because that's going to be put on. Like that. It's going to be painted on, to be honest. Quite liking that. I think it's uh, come out really good. 